hello hello guys thank you for joining i'm sorry i gotta get myself together i wasn't ready to hit broadcast but i did but hello hello siobhan thank you for joining welcome 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 oh guys so yes come on in hello simply grace thank you for joining guys do me a favor hello thank you siobhan welcome lisa do me a huge favor guys and invite your followers to this scope go ahead and bring in as many people as you guys can because i have something very very important to talk about welcome simply grace welcome valerie guys go ahead and invite your followers this is a major business go welcome dr flip thank you so much for joining please invite your followers for everyone um that's coming in the room Everybody that's coming in the room, go ahead and invite your followers. I'm trying to get situated, but that's okay. I'm just going to park so I can do this scope and let you guys in on something that happened to me last week. Welcome, God's love. Welcome to everybody. Um, welcome, Mrs. Lachey. Welcome to... Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for inviting followers. If everybody can please click the little Perry dude at the bottom and invite your followers and share this scope let's not be selfish this is some really good knowledge and information that I'm about to give you guys um, and a heads up on something very important welcome boss lady so here's the deal guys I don't know if you follow me on Facebook but if you don't follow me on Facebook, you definitely need to do that. Welcome to Tax Advocate. Thank you for joining. Hello to all of you guys. Come in. That's okay. That's okay. Welcome. I understand being busy, so that's good. That's a good thing. It's better than not being busy or being lazy. <laughs> so guys, listen. If you follow me on Facebook, then you probably saw the rant that I posted on, I believe it was Saturday um, or Sunday. It could have been yesterday. I don't know, you know, because I just been under the computer. I actually been in my laptop since I posted that rant. But anyways, one day over the past um, couple of days, I just blew my top on Facebook. I came completely unglued, com totally out of character. And let me tell you guys why. So for those of you who are used to following me, you know that I developed a course called uh, Boss Up Your Business Credit. I wrote a book called Boss Up Your Business Credit. And consequently, I developed a course that supplements that, co that book. Um, well, now the book supplements the course. That's how well it's going. So anyways, as I was releasing the print version of the book, thank you for all of you guys who bought that book from me. Um, I discovered that someone stole my book. I'm going to let that sink in for like a second or two. Welcome, Olivia Nettles. Thank you for joining. So yes, as I was releasing the print book, I discovered that somebody stole my book. Yes, yes, yes. I told you guys this was going to be a good scope. This is good information. Um, is it the same Periscope stealer? No. This person just, they, they did it and they did it in a major way. They did it in a major way right so i'm telling you guys this because i want you guys to be protected in what you're doing and i'm gonna try to well you guys are just gonna have to see that so listen this is what happened as i was online processing orders for my book boss up your business credit um, I discovered that there was another boss up your business credit, but not only was there another boss up your business credit title that this book was identical to my book that I worked, that I poured all of my energy and effort in, that I invested my time in. It was identical. Not only did they steal the interior of the book, but this person stole the cover as well. They took my name off the cover, put their name right back on the cover, and they are selling my book as if it's their own. So when I saw this, I was livid. Yes, it's copyrighted, but I'm going to talk about that because I'm learning some things, right? So I was livid. 
um, when I saw that this had happened to me and I jumped on Facebook and I blasted like I just shot it was shots fired all across Facebook because I was angry I was upset um, I was hurt I was I'm pissed okay and that's about the strongest words you guys are probably ever going to hear me say but anyways, um, the book is copyrighted, but people don't care. And that's what I'm here to let you guys in on. They don't care that they you have that page that says this book is copyright protected. All rights belong to such and such. No part of this book may be reproduced except for XYZ. And listen, my sister is an attorney. So you guys should know that if I have that kind of access to legal that I took the necessary steps and precautions cautions to protect my assets right um so then i oh oh believe me i'm ordering it but i already went through the excerpts of the book and it's identical to what i wrote they didn't even change one word um people don't care and here's the thing what they did was they reduced the price of the book so you know if people see two of the exact same items side by side of course they're going to go with the one that's you know ten dollars less right so anyways, um, needless to say, several people, thank you to everybody who blasted them on Facebook for me. I think the video probably has been seen about 800 times now. Um, it's been shared so many times. You can find it on my Facebook, Tanya Lynn Edwards, uh, where I said, you know, I worked entirely too hard for somebody to steal my work and I'm not going to turn over. Um, but that doesn't stop them because this individual has written supposedly at least 14 books that I've come across and I suspect they're all stolen and I'm on a mission to bring him down right um, but he is a professional I want you guys to know that I have discovered six six aliases for this person um, I have discovered my book written under three different names Yes, it's a guy. I'm going to bring him down, Noah. I'm going to make it very difficult for him to publish anywhere, right? Um, he's published all across every bookstore you can imagine. He's published on every ebook source that you can imagine. And he's making money off of my creation and my product, and I don't like it. You know, I'm not going to sit by and roll over. So, what I have done is uh, I spent time and I've I've come up with ways to help entrepreneurs. Listen, he's international, but he could be local, right? Because you don't know when you're dealing with a scam artist and a thief and a con man. Um, you don't know. Yes, <laughs> it, his name. Well, one of his name is names is Bolakel Arimu right he's Nigerian or so to speak but he has a couple of American names too um, but he's written some books on the Asian culture so he has an Asian name for that book so this is why I'm saying this is a professional yes but I'm coming up with a way to help you guys and and also help myself prevent these things from happening look we're not gonna say it's just nigerians because you know we have some blacks that are con artists we have uh caucasians that are con artists we have hispanics we have asians we just have people that are thieves right we have people that are thieves and maybe they're posting it as if they're nigerian but maybe he's not because again he has a name that's an Asian name and he also has a name that's a black man's name I would consider you know and it's stereotypical but he has another man another lady's name so let me tell you guys that's why I'm trying to hip you guys to the game we can't put a face on it but I know it's happening because I've been doing research ever since I saw this he scammed another lady from the UK last year around this same time right yes yes exactly dr. flip we have fake people that are perpetrating as being business owners and being experts in industries and they're nobodies they're nobodies but thieves and con artists but listen guys um, tonight I'm going to be posting or I'm going to be releasing a course on protecting your legacy protecting your legacy protecting your products 
protecting your hard work, your effort, protecting the months, the hours that you pour and invest into what you're doing to build a legacy for yourself and your family. I'm going to be releasing a course that's going to help everybody who's out here writing books, who's out here developing courses, who's out here making content that's not just one-time content. See, my book was released in April of this year, and after I released the April, exactly, uh, Heavy Lover, exactly, people are doing it. After I released the book in April, I had a course that followed the book. And the course is going very well. It's called Boss Up Your Business Credit. And what I'm doing is I'm helping solopreneurs, I'm helping entrepreneurs, I'm helping small business owners build business credit and position their business for credit, right? Um, successfully. So, this is not just a $20 book. You know, this is my legacy this is my stamp on the business world and I want you guys to know that if you search that name boss up your business credit you'll find the book online but you'll find it under other people's names as well welcome Jen thank you so much for sharing and for coming in welcome Faith thank you for inviting followers so yes you'll find it under Tanya Edwards and I am the original writer the original author the original creator of boss up your business credit there was never anybody else who developed that course or the content okay and I can take that to the bank and I can die and rest in heaven knowing that so I'm gonna let you guys know that welcome to everybody that's joining so listen um, I'm going to come up with I'm gonna develop a whole page that's going to let you guys know who this thief is I'm going to tell you yes somebody stole it I'm going to tell you guys who the thief is I'm gonna give you guys all of his aliases um, I'm going to give you guys everything that I found out about him because he has an elaborate you know business that he's putting together right under other people using other people's products other people's content so I'm going to put all of this in one landing page so you guys will see and know who to watch out for exactly he's a professional honey and I respect his game that's how professional he is like I sat and I watched and I said you know what this man has taken time to do this he has spent money let me tell you because he's even gone out and bought an ISBN number and if anybody out here publishes books you know it costs hundred and twenty five dollars to rightfully buy an ISBN number unless you go you know the other directions to get it go around about ways to get it but you're putting money into this and I said again he has published about 14 books print books not just ebooks print books so for a print book you need an ISBN for an ISBN you spend hundred and twenty five dollars now there are other ways to get ISBNs but if you wanted to reflect your information then somebody's texting me right now asking did I find anything out about this and I'm posting I'm letting you guys know but if you want the ISBN to reflect your information your publishing then of course you're going to spend the money for it yes that's per book, per ISBN number. Now, again, there are other ways to get it cheaper. You guys can inbox me if you're looking for something like that. If you're publishing or you're getting ready to do that, um, well, he stole people's information, but he had to get the ISBN number from somewhere because it's not my ISBN number that he's using. So, he probably spends days watching people's periscopes to steal their information. Yes, and I want you guys to be careful of downloadable content because, oh, and I'm, guys, this is so big. Like, this is so big. The, I'm going to give you one name, Bola Kale Aramu, B-O-L-A-K-A-L-E, next name, Aramu, A-R-E-M-U. But remember I said he has several different aliases. It's very elaborate. I'm putting together a whole page that's going to tell you guys exactly who, what, where, when, and how this is happening. How you are going to be the next if you're posting and publishing your products out here. And how you can protect yourselves. Remember I said I'm going to release a class tonight. It's called Protecting Your Legacy. And I want you guys to get in the class. Like, don't, 
Don't risk losing your time, your money, your effort, your energy, your future behind spending a few dollars for a class. Yes, it's going to be a paid course, but it's going to give you the necessary information and steps you need um, to protect yourselves. Things that I probably should have put this out a long time ago, but when you know better, you do better, right? I don't know just yet how much the course is going to be, um, Falcon, but I can tell you this. If you follow me, you know that I believe, believe in building your business on the cost of your lunch money. I believe that it doesn't take hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to build your business and to establish yourself. So it's going to be something that your average single mom can afford because I like to cater to single mothers and I know everybody else who's in a better position than your single mom will be able to afford it as well. So just know that, right? Oh, I'm, I'm past angry. I'm past angry, Lauren. Um know how much for me to pull up on him <laughs> you know what you you hey i'll pay you a dollar to pull up on him <laughs> you know it, it's gonna be a cheap head a, a cheap price on his head but listen um guys i'm so irritated i am so irritated by this because we work hard as entrepreneurs we work hard as small business owners. We invest our time and our energy in building our businesses and doing things the right way. And then somebody comes by, they jump on your scope, they jump on your website, you know, they fake as if they're in your corner and they're supporting you. They invest whatever the cost of your product is and then they steal it from, right from under you and take it. Well, that's already been done, but guess what? He came right back up and put a new page up just over the course of the weekend, right? Yes, if you search my book, his name is going to come up too. If you search for Boss Up Your Business Credit, you're going to see Tanya Edwards, but then you, you'll probably be able to find it under several other sites. Now, some of them may be taken down because I've already started the process for getting him removed. But again, it's coming up under several names. So it's not just a one day, you know, wham, bam, thank you, it's done. This is a process, a lengthy process that I'm having to go through in order to get my stuff back. Like, <sighs> but let me tell you guys something. You know, I believe that God has me in a position for a reason. Because if you guys follow me, last week I scoped about how I came home and somebody was in my house. Like somebody had broken into my house and I came home and they were here. So I'm like, why is everybody trying to steal from me? I don't know what's going on, you know. But I know one thing, that nothing happens by chance. Um... Your title caught my eye, but I'm in New York with a bad connection. Somebody stole my brought my product, my book, Boss Up Your Business Credit. They took my name off of it and put their name on the cover, and now they're selling it all across social media and all throughout bookstores. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> and let me tell you guys what happened. I released the book like on the 20th, I believe, or 24th of April. By May 5th, he had already done all of this. Yes, he had already done all of this by May 5th. Guys, if you haven't invited your followers and shared this scope, go ahead and do that. Um, yes, yes, he did, Sister Soul Rock. Yes, he did. That's what happened. If you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. Share the scope. Invite your followers. If you're not following me, follow me, guys. You can find me all across social media at Boss Lady on Fire, or you can find me on Facebook at Tanya Lynn Edwards. So... Yes, somebody stole my stuff, but it's okay. Like, I'm not even going, I ain't dropped a tear. I will not drop a tear over it. I'm just going to do the work to get it taken back, to steal back my stuff. Like, I have to take back what's already mine. And a lot of you may be in that position. Oh, yes, it's already done. Um, he's all over. He's all over. So he has a Philadelphia address. He has a Nigeria address. He has a California address. I told you guys, he is a professional. It's intricate. This is not just some, uh, some crazy. They, they sleep good. The devil gives them sleeping pills. Um, so yeah, guys, this is not just, this is not just, you know, a dummy thief. He's a professional at what he does, right? He's a professional at what he does, 
and I'm making it my business. I'm partnering up with the other lady that I found that he stole from, and we're making it our business to bring him down. Like, if we can't bring him down, we're going to make his life a living hell. Like, he's not even going to want to publish books anymore or publish content because. I don't care if I have to do this and invest the hour of my work day every day to focus just on this person and their thieving con or this ways. I will do that. I don't care if I have to take a portion of my, my business income, a percentage, and devote to bringing him down. I will do that because it's about the principle. And this is what I said on my Facebook rant. It's about the principle of it. It's not about, you know... A couple of dollars here or there it's not about the money but it's about the principle it's about the time that I invested it's about the research that I did it's about the sleepless nights it's about the time I had to put my kids to the side to work on this project it's about all of that it's about you guys getting quality products and content that I've developed and I'm telling you guys that I wrote this it's about that you know it's not about um, oh, I just want, you know, some fame or my name to be out here or anything like that, you know, but or any other thing you can think of. It's not about any of those things. It's about the principle, you know, and if it was the next person, I would do the same for them. Here's the flip side of it. Um, last week as well, I saw that somebody else's content in a book had been stolen. And how I saw this was because I had already purchased this product from the, a gentleman maybe a year ago. And then as I was doing some um, searching just for other general books, I came across another person's book in the uh, finance industry. And I said, this looks like the identical information to what I bought last year. So I pulled up the first person's name and lo and behold, sure enough, somebody had plagiarized their book and stole it, stole it. It's not just Nigerian. I don't know what nationality or what race this person is, what ethnicity he is, um, because again, I found six different aliases, so I don't know. It's just, this is a, a thief thing. This is what it is. It's not about, you know, being Nigerian or it's not about being black. It's not about being white or being Hispanic. Um, Yes, well, he has a Nigerian address, and he has an address in Philadelphia as well, you know, so he stole from another lady that's from the United Kingdom, so he's just all over the place. He's just a thief, you know, this is about good versus evil, that's really what it boils down to. It's about somebody that's being untruthful, it's about being a liar, being a thief, being a deceiver, you know. Um, that's really what it boils down to. And we have people out here like that. You know, unfortunately, you don't know who you're meeting. But when I post my page, um, if you hook a crook to get it, you have to hook a crook to keep it. And that's true. <laughs> that is so true. But when I post this page, this page is going to go up tonight. Um, it's called Protecting Your Legacy. I'm going to come back and do another scope and give you guys the bit.ly link for it. When I do that tonight, I'm going to tell you guys how he did it because I found out, right? And guess what? It's somebody that I know and trusted. I'm going to tell you how I get it. I don't know him, but I've done business with him. So I'm going to tell you guys exactly how he did it and how it can happen to you just like that. That's what I'm going to do. I haven't said it yet because I don't want them to pull everything down before I get them right where I need them. So that's why I haven't said it. But I'm giving you guys bits and pieces so you can be aware and bolo. Be on the lookout, you know, for people stealing your content and your creations. Just be on the lookout, be careful, and be prepared, you know, because again, if you guys didn't hear, I'm releasing a class called Protecting Your Legacy. That class will release tonight, and I'm going to teach you how to protect yourselves. And I would have never released this if it hadn't happened to me just over the last three days. I never would have even said, you know, this is something I need to do. But I need to do it, and I decided to do the class last night. Um, 
as I sat up until about 3 a.m. Central Standard Time working on bringing this person down. Thank you, Crown Ready Coach, for joining. Working on bringing this person down as I sat there and I discovered that I wasn't the only one. I said, you know what? Other people need to know. Like other entrepreneurs and business owners need to know that this is happening. But you guys also need to know that you can protect yourself and you can greatly reduce reduce your risk. That's what you can do. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm kicking like below the belt several times. The class is going to be on, it's going to be an e-course. So it's not going to be Periscope. It's going to be an e-course that I'm going to release. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please share this scope again with all of your followers. Um, help me bring down the thieves, the cons, the scam artists. Help me bring them all down, you know. And if it's not you today, just like I said in my title, somebody stole my product and you can be next. So once you get in where you need and what will happen to him. Basically, my goal is to prevent him from being able to steal somebody else's products. That's my, my goal. Prevent him from being able to profit off of your hard work. Prevent him from being able to profit off of my hard work. You know, um, it's a lot more into it, but I can't disclose everything just yet because I still have to get some things in position, guys. But I went on a rant on Facebook, and a lot of people have been asking me for information since then. So I wanted to come back out and at least give an update on what was happening. I know what happened. I know how he got my information. I know where he got it from. It's called Boss Up Your Business Credit. You can just search for it in your search bar. Um, it sucks because people like that always seem to get away with what they do. And that's true. However, if you take necessary precautions and steps, you can prevent it from happening. Right? Oh, can you still hear it, Dr. Flip? Let's see. Hopefully that noise went away. It sounded like a little vibrating. Awesome. Awesome. Glad to help. So, yes. Um, <sighs> yeah. But yeah. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I have some work to get done so I can get this released to you all tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I may seem like I'm a little drained, but I am. I've been up uh, till 3 in the morning. Then I got up at 6 o'clock and here I am pushing through. So, thank you guys again for tuning in. Come back later on. I'm going to scope again when I release the class to let you guys know. I'm going to give you guys the bit.ly link so you can find out all the information. Information. I'm going to give you pictures. I'm going to give you all of his aliases. I'm going to give you other people that he has scammed. Um, everything. Like, I'm going to take my time and build out an entire page. Yes. Let me, let me do that right now. I'm going to take my time and build out an entire page and devote, it, and devote it just to scam artists and thieves and how you guys can protect yourselves. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to follow. Visit me on Facebook. You can watch the rant there. Um, I'm Tanya Lynn Edwards, and I will see you guys later tonight. Have a bossy rest of the evening and a blessed day. Bye-bye.